What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god, where am I? Huh. This sure seems very different from what Paima imagined. Just gonna leave Scaramouche there? Be in this realm of consciousness? Oh my yes, god. That is our destination. <sighs> but I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rikudavata to be as polluted as this. Forbidden knowledge? It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Oh my god. What a... Um, yo. Hmm, your inference seems I know! Clear. I know! Poor Skara! He just, just got freaking R.I.P'd! Splat! Lord nearly exhausting her power. Oh. A second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution that was so good, though. Ago. Oh my but goodness! I'm it was much more serious this time, with Ermansoul itself already in danger. My boy's brain so is in danger. All on the ground. And it's also been affected by oh. pollution. Then, does that mean, in order to save us, Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes. It's very possible that she Ooh. sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. Litter, I thought someone was going to catch him! Everyone, including me, right? Like, she's a nice god. I literally was like, oh, she's gonna catch him. Due to her restoration of no! <laughs> no, nah, she was not even, not even phased. I feel sad. Sharing her pain. Oh my goodness. The pollution of her consciousness very severe. Just got wrecked. There's madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Yeah. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions? All the way up to her last breath. She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. Why? Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. Let's we go! We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Ruka Devata tell us the truth in person. That'd be so cool! We need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Okay. That's so scary. Don't worry. It should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go. She just called you dense, Paimon. She just called you freaking thick in the head that you're good. Are we in the air? Why is there a boat? A huge boat. That's the boat of consciousness. Which symbolizes The boat of reason. consciousness? Okay. Its course is the direction our consciousness is traveling toward. Oh! Wow. Oh! What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them! Access denied. We're way behind schedule. Solidify! Get out of here. No touching! This is cr I'm just time to go to the boat. Stabilize. This is order. Into the wind. Might as well. Crumble. Yeah. 
feel like there's gonna be more. I'm going to the boat, the boat of consciousness. That was crazy. I can't believe that. Stabilize. I will have order. Born of ice and frost. Really, bro? You just hanging out over there? Really? You too? Oh, oh. We're just living. The consciousness will soon take us out of here. Wow, that's pretty. This is crazy. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Uh, I'm good. Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord You Ruka are Greater Devata? Lord Luca Devata, just no. a baby version. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance. And I could have done a better job. Hey, you've done a great job, Nick. We know the truth. We saw it. We saw it. we saw it. I'm confused. We saw it in the desert. This is a pretty looking boat, though. Okay, I'm just like a mess. So, is this the oh! place you were talking about? Ermansol. Okay. The base of Hello. Ermansol? We're here. This is so pretty. Oh, I can't do anything. Crazy. Well, creepy. This is the place. It's the same place from my memories. Uh, we're here to find 
afraid of Lord Ruka Devata, right? But the one standing over there is... Oh. Is that... Mm -hmm. She looks exactly like me. Are you... Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? Ermin's soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why oh. we would appear exactly the same. Hmm? We're of the same nature? Why? Because you are me, and I am you. You are me in the new samsara. <laughs> No one checked if he's okay. No one, no one checked. As Greater Lord Ruka Devata, I'm the avatar of Ermansoul. And you are the purest branch snapped from Ermansoul. Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow, continuing the tree's life in another form. Pretty. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. Hmm. Judging from your appearance, I've probably been dead for 500 years. But you're finally here. My new self in the samsara. If this is true, then am I going to be a great archon like you someday? Though we share the same nature, our fates are bound to be different. All things have She's more blue. Fate. When a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? Ultimate That's a great knowledge. insight. Yes, very good. It's also precisely why you won't become like me. <sighs> really? <laughs> but perhaps... You may become an even greater Archon than I. I already see a determination in you that I didn't possess in my time. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. Along with the blessings from your past experiences. Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. We like plants here. You only need to wait quietly for the flower to bloom. Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. Thank you. They dum dums. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the archon I always admired was, in fact, myself in another fate. It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Ruka Devata. I've always wanted to meet you. The feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermin Soul and created you, I've also yeah, been talking with you. Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? And. What exactly happened when you died? Ah, uh, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? Everything that day. Even the sky itself. Oh! Changed into a color like this. At that time, the seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Conria! Except for me. Oh no. I had a more important task to attend. Oh, to. bitch. Okay. I had to protect Ermin's soul. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Ermansoul, I sensed something was wrong. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Ermansoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So, what exactly is forbidden knowledge? It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world. And a form of truth that can't be understood. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand it. The world that damn abyss? is constantly rejecting it. Leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute huh. Ermin's soul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tavak Stupid Abyss. Always so messing things up. There's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? Yeah, it's upside down knowledge. <laughs> At that time, 
I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone, which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's oh, dreams I totally the turned Akasha. On. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. I turned on my massager. Well, <laughs> did it work? Thanks to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all of the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Urban Soul. But things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. Uh oh. I had a terrible headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. And then I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Urban Soul. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. From the very beginning. Oh no. My existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh no. How could that happen? I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes. But my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermin Soul as memories and knowledge. Meaning that the forbidden knowledge couldn't ever be permanently eradicated. And there's no way for me to eliminate myself. Oh. It would be a sort of paradox. So, I took the purest branch of Ermin Soul as my incarnation in the next samsara and left a trail of clues. All in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermin Soul forever. We gotta murder her? No. We gotta. I can't. What? No! We gotta <laughs> murder her? So you realize what that implies. You are very smart indeed. Ermin Soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Ermin Soul means. I essentially will never have existed in this world, but this is the only way to save Ermin Soul. People love you so much, and, and they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. Oh, crap. I, I am exactly the same. So how, how can we just forget you like this? Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You are the god of wisdom, Booer. You should know that there is no other way. But this... This is so cruel. Dang! I don't want to forget you. No need to feel so sad, Booer. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the <laughs> should be happy to murder your These former self. The words in their entirety. The answer you've been seeking all along. Let the world completely forget me. Okay, well. Time, to, mur time to murder. Under the great tree of wisdom. Aww. Peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders. Until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch. This whole thing is so sad. And we snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. That's cute. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds, were numerous smaller worlds, all of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood Ooh. that these indescribable and constantly changing things Something wrong with my are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. Oh, this is 
is very, very sad. Ooh. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. be blessed tonight oh. the sweetest of dreams Ugh. Jesus <laughs> very heavy stuff I'm all right. oh I'm just a little confused me too, baby. We just saved the world, right? You were good. So why? Why am I crying? Oh, baby. I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just now, we used the power of two gnosis to successfully connect with the Earth's consciousness from 500 years ago. And we removed the remaining pollution from Merman Soul. Oh shit. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Ah, uh, damn. That's some sad shit. No, don't do it. Don't do it? Do it? Don't do it. Oh. Oh man. Balladeer's like, bro, where are you at? You asleep now? Is everyone sleeping? What's happening? Doctor! Can we, can we take a breather? Oh huh? my god. I've been waiting here far too long. Sir. But finally I have the chance to be alone with you. Oh my god. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. Jeez. The doctor. What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected. It doesn't have any effect on gods. Ugh. This is the only thing of interest I found. Can I have a moment Sage's to research. mourn? I oh my god. Spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. Yeah. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Sir, hey, calm down. With me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of he's cognition. Got, he's got more than one! Now we know! There are many different versions of you in this world. Yes, there are! An astute guess. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. This guy is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. He's got homunculuses, so that of time. He's a very so smart I dude. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. It can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, 
It's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves. Not to mention oneself from a different period. Crazy. But since you are in the academia, why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Let me ask you this. He's like, me and Skarmouche, we like, we're not the best. The we don't in like the each middle other. Of an experiment? It was my experiment. So this why guy. should I interfere with the results? The academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal. Yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... You really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. Yeah! How would you have faced your own god then? <laughs> would you still take the same stance? True. Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. You done dropped Skara from like 200 stories. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh damn. Oh, no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. Neither does your all belt right. outfit and that's your harnesses. That's conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example, the Gnosis. I'll be taking that now, bro. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that electronosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? <laughs> Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. This guy is so, so all, creepy. I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the god of wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme. Damn. What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Oh, bitch. Awaken the Heavenly Principles? Hmm. <laughs> He's like, do you think that's, that's really cool. possible? I like that. The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over to that and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? Well, shit, girl. <laughs> gamble? How surprising. Wow. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the god of wisdom. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. He's like, I like this. <laughs> He's into it. He's into it. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. Look at her. She's so this angry. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed. Oh my god. I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? His voice is so good. This will only lead to disaster if it stays in Samara. But this electronosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Oh! Interesting. What price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? Damn. <laughs> yeah, right. So this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the nation of wisdom. More wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. 
A suitably wise decision on your part. Yes. This is I'm very, very interesting. intense. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me, and that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. The Fatui? Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? <laughs> Damn, what is going on? I'm so very confused. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. No way. Actually? You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities... What? It's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. Perhaps it's best to say, you're just temporarily ahead. But what I'd like to know is, how can you be sure that I've really erased them? His voice is so good. Hmm. Hmm. What a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! How could I have been you so short-sighted? You think that this is the end? Wait, I'll have a wait. You'll make Good this moment count. You, you will regret this. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here, take it. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. He just destroyed them shut down the Akasha, with mind the powers? Curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly what? pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. <laughs> She's no, the only one gonna keep this it? This is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh. Judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you. Have you, in all your mighty knowledge, ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? Huh? That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations, we've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may He's so creepy. Words. I love it. Your convictions may mean nothing to you, but I'll still listen to what you have to say. Oh, are we getting a little wee? Okay, damn. What? What's happening? Is he not gonna tell me? They're not gonna tell me. Oh my god. I got ripped off. Where's my knowledge? Where's Scaramouche? Oh my god, we just murdered the dude. This poor little man. Wake up. Together. Okay. Wake her up. Everyone's gonna be so pissed. Are you 
Again, I heard that it was uh, brought us here. Oh. Dang. Where I got more. Lame. I'm just gonna level, I'm just gonna have them leveled up. Good morning. Looks like you're awake. Yep, yep. I prepared some breakfast today. Please have a taste. No! You like it. What is that? <sighs> it's nice to have you here so we can eat something yummy. Oh, it's pistachio? Okay, look, never mind, never mind. If it's pistachio, anything, okay. I've got this. I was a little bit. I'm a little bit con concerned. Why are you eating four or five meals a day? Call A. What? Oh my god. Oh, by the way, someone brought a letter for you after you went to sleep last night. All right. Everyone's aware of your abilities. There's no need to be modest. Thank you. Anyway, let's go to the Grand Bazaar to have a look. To the Grand Bazaar. Oh, before you leave, be sure to inform Master Tainari. All right. Why do I have to tell Tainari? Lame. Healthy body, healthy mind. Just let me go. Good morning. How do you? We feel much better. How about you? Oh, I'm recovering now. Thanks for asking. Well, from the looks of it. You seem to be already busy with work again. It's fine. I'm not that busy, really. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Hypatia. For now, I only need to tend to my forest watcher duties. Nice. Jeez, once Super chill. Together, everything else started to recover, too. Yes, but there are still some residual effects. The withering is one example. Though it won't spread anymore, yeah. the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. By the way, I got we this. Have some good news. Sino got his position back. <laughs> <laughs> this news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Wow. Huh? You mean he was already here? Why didn't he come to say hi to us? He visited once, but we he was sleeping. afraid of disturbing you while you were resting. And you probably are. I don't like either. Celebration feast. Celebration feast? No, I haven't heard anything about that. That they would celebrate Sino? He didn't tell you? Hmm. Perhaps, or alternatively, he doesn't know about it either. Uh, come to think of it, Sino doesn't seem like the type who'd enjoy a celebration feast. You and Kale are both Sino's close friends. Why don't you come to the feast with us? Kale has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me. Oh, you come see, on, you brats! Some VIPs have come to the forest recently. VIPs? Very important Paimons? Well, technically speaking, they are no. former VIPs. <laughs> the sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya Forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Oh, what? shit. Yes, he's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. 
Bless her Aww. Lord Kusanali and her boundless mercy has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly, they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya forest. Huh. When they learned Get that Bless her Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladeer and saved Ermansoul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy, feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. Oh, so now they like As her. As a result, <laughs> work has increased for the forest rangers. That sounds really... There's nothing we can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you... Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Yay, we got you. Uh, I don't know. This one. This one right here. Let's go. I think we got to celebration for Sino and he doesn't know about it. So that's really cute. Let's show me a Well, there won't be any problems if the feast starts at that time. Everything has already been prepared. Mr. Zubair, I finished telling things up here. Well, except for the guests. Is a simple reply really that much to ask of our guests? It's affecting our arrangements. Oh, shush! Oh my oh, gosh! Be fine. What a gosh, loser! It never hurts to get things ready in advance. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. The feast will be held sooner or later, right? This guy. Hey, Milu. Traveler, Paimon. I got your letters. Here we are. <laughs> You're the best. The other guests haven't even replied yet. They're letter it's letters. The only ones that have arrived? It's letters. Yeah. I had someone deliver letters to all of our guests. But maybe everyone is still busy with other things. Look, I get it. Sumeru is in an extremely important period of transition right now, but even if your friends are important figures, they shouldn't just ignore your request like this. Rawr. Milu is Sumeru's number one celebrity after all. This guy needs a rest. This guy needs a break. He is exhausted. Look at him. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to talk to people with good taste. If you consider enjoying Milu's dance as having good taste, then almost everybody has good taste. Because uh -huh. I think everybody will love her performance. That's right. We all think she's amazing too. Milu is an absolute favorite among those of us who frequent the Grand Bazaar. For Outlanders, you have a great eye, Master Zubair. Let's have a vote for the most outstanding audience members next time. <laughs> I think these two may win. Nonsense. It is not for us to determine the value of an audience. I don't know. You determine a lot of other things, we bros. We try giving gifts to people with particularly good taste. I heard there's a device in Fontaine called a camera that can record people's appearances as pictures. Such pictures would make superb gifts. Ooh, good idea. <sighs> I don't want you giving pictures of me to anyone. <laughs> I'm satisfied just being able to perform. She's here. like, mm. like a lot going on at the Grand Bazaar. Yeah, and that's why I love it here. Traveler and Paimon, could you help confirm if the letters were actually delivered? If for some reason they didn't receive the letters. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. okay. How everything in Sumeru is going now. Hi, Mick. Hmm. When I wrote and asked for Sino. We've only heard that he appears at the academia from time to time. I'm not too sure about Rahman's whereabouts. As for Alright, let's do this. I just hope she's feeling better. Okay, got it. Let's go, traveler. We literally have to go collect everyone? Rude. Is this 3.3 now? I don't know. Next 
on the agenda? Damn. <clears throat> hey there, have you seen Alhatham around? Yes, it seems Scribe Alhatham has gone to the house of Dana. You should be able to find him there. But you're already the second group of people I've seen looking for him today. Oh? Who else is looking for him? Mr. Cave was just here asking about him. You wouldn't believe how terrible their relationship is. And now you two are here. Don't tell me everyone's oh. here looking oh. for gossip about the sages. No way! Where's your... <laughs> ah, I see. Sorry, I thought maybe everyone's as interested in rumors about the sages as I am. Lol, okay, bro. Bye. This guy's like, I, I'm, I'm Let's super gossipy. Yo, I'll hate them. Listen. I'm coming for you. We gotta go, we gotta go dance party here. <gasps> this guy! Oh! This guy. Oh, Hatham should be around here somewhere, right? That guy, new guy. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Oh, he's over there. But it looks like he might not have time for us. Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the academia. This is not just some worthless book. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a physical book like this in Sumeru? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's probably just another thing that you used your authority to get your hands on anyway. Just put it aside. Listen, I came back today only to hear that the sages have disappeared. Oh, you sound surprised. I thought you would already know the inside story. Would I be here asking you if I knew? You're the scribe, not me. So just tell me what you know already. Well, I almost became a sage. Huh? Oh. What is this guy? Don't surprised now. You're the renowned Kave, light of the Kasharawar. Besides, as a master builder and craftsman, chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Hmm. Why do I feel like you don't really mean it? Who is this guy? Huh. What makes you say that? Why would you question my heartfelt sincerity? Maybe it's because you've never said anything good about me before. Oh, shit. Yeah, they don't well, like each I other. I share a similar sentiment. And anyone who knows you as well as I do would surely do the same. Oh, you... See? This is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. Ha. I mean, he's what a bit of a dick. Clue? Well, then you might as well move out of my house. Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, I see. They, li they uh, live together? And don't change the subject. You, a sage? What a joke. The academia might as well just close tomorrow. Are they having a fight? <laughs> <sighs> Forget what's going on with the academia. Haven't you been busy with your construction project? Tell me. Wow. When are you wow. going to build yourself a mansion? Oh. Don't get me started. I get angry just thinking about it. So, what great building did our master architect work on this time? Like I need to tell you. Keep your nose out of my business. Okay. No. I think we deserve to know. 
Where were you when Sumeru needed you most? He's a he's an architect. What do you mean? For a large project. But considering Haravatat's utter ignorance of architectural and aesthetic matters, you probably wouldn't understand. Oh, oh. Is truly unfortunate. I can only pity the man who doesn't understand the first thing about beauty and romance. Unlike a true uh, Hold on. Uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me most? Well, while you were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. Ha! And you think I'd believe that? He's just building Look, some buildings. All you really need to know is that Azar and all his accomplices have all been overthrown. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> it's no skin off my nose if you don't believe me. It's not like my Darshan was the one trying to apply for funding from the Grand Sage. Hmm. Oh shit. And yours though, on the other hand. You know what? I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. Well, Jesus. Holy smokes. What What is going on? Can I get this book before I talk to you? Haha. <laughs> I got it. Hey, what was that about, my guy? Oh, it's you two. What's the matter? We're running some errands for Nilu. Have you received her letter? Letter? Nilu said she sent out a letter inviting everyone to a celebration feast in two days at the Grand Bazaar. We'll also be celebrating Zaino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. If she addressed the letter to all Haytham of the Academia, then the letter should have gone to my office. I've been busy these days, so I haven't had time to check for any new mail at my office. I only now have some free time to attend to personal matters. Have you always been so busy with your work? Of course not. I'm only busy these days because several sages have been dismissed recently. <laughs> Everyone's gone. <laughs> turned upside down. Everyone is gone now, so... to train in the Avidia Forest. Apparently they will spend the rest of their lives there. That is already the best possible ending for the likes of them. Four of the six great sages were possessed by their desire for power and attempted to create a new god. In order to pull it off, they even imprisoned the other two rational sages. To imagine such things wow. could take place in the academia. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Feels kind of strange to hear them called that after all this time. But th yes. At least, that's how they're supposed to sound. Hey, Slox. It's said that when the Thank academia you. was first founded... The Dendro Archon herself established the six great schools, mm. each representing one of the six different types of wisdom. Numerous Darshans have sprung up and faded. Only the six Darshans attaching themselves to the six great schools have stood the test of time and obtained permanent seats in the academia. Now, the six Darshans are nearly synonymous with the six great schools, and the leaders selected for the schools are the six great sages. Among the six great sages, there is one central leader. The Grand Sage. Unfortunately, only the sages from Vahumana and Amorta remain now. They were imprisoned for opposing Azar and were only rescued after Azar's downfall. Dang. Okay. The other four now. Not them. Do they need to find someone new? Yes. Normally, Dang. new sages are selected based on a strict set of criteria. What's going on? Just say something about becoming a sage? We're uh, getting Thank through the Genshin you. story. A huge connection in Sumeru. Yes, <laughs> about that. <clears throat> you didn't let me finish my sentence. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the Grand Sage in place of Azar. The Grand and Sage? Lord Kisanali managed the academia. But I refused. Huh? What? Damn. Uh, can't you be a little more ambitious? I'm not even interested in being one of the six great sages. <laughs> like He's like, before, I don't care. I don't like I'm just a leader. I'm just trying to read my right. books in the corner. So are you busy these days trying to find others to take the job? That's not my job either. I'm only responsible for handling important affairs within the academia before the new sages take office. Mm. <laughs> and the first thing I'll do is reject Kisharawar's application for funding. By the way, who's that other person just now? Is he your friend? Do we look like friends? Ha! <laughs> Yikes! No, that's what Paimon's asking. His name is Kave, my roommate. You could say he's the representative for Kshawar scholars. 
Which is exactly why he always has so many problems. <laughs> My roommate. Bro's got a roommate. Such is the work of the Academia Scribe. Well, anyway, no matter how busy you are, since you are our planner, remember to attend the celebration feast in two days. All right. I'll see you there. Dang, this guy. All right, go to Port Amos. All righty, all righty. Oh, we have done the uh, Scaramouche battle today, which has been super fun and crazy. It's been a lot. Sorry, sorry, gone you. I didn't mean to do that. She's been cured. But Alazar has completely disappeared, and all the patients have recovered. Are you kidding? Knowing them and the connections they've got, I'm sure they've heard about it. Hello. She's gotta be up soon right. too. The lady is feeling better now, so I'm accompanying her for a walk. Why do you still call me that, Dia? <laughs> I guess I'm just used to calling you my lady. My lady. Old habits die hard. My lady. Yeah, I might start losing my edge if I keep being a bodyguard for the Homayanis. You know that my parents and I are fond of you, and that we appreciate you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a woman that's easily persuaded. She's gotta be up next. You should know that by now. My, when I took this my job, lady, I had already decided that this I bitch a needs a fedora. <laughs> it's time for me to get back out there and chase that horizon. So what are you gonna do now if you're not gonna be a bodyguard anymore? <laughs> I want to take a risky job. And put my body to the test again. Yeah, I feel like she's gonna be up really soon. I literally just finished one of the most dangerous jobs ever. I know. If I hadn't joined in that plan with you, I wouldn't have come up with this idea. I guess I still get fired up by that feeling of going all out in a fight. She I likes like fighting. And I'm happy she's a, to be a part of She's a big operation. sword baby. She's a broadsword. So I feel like I feel like she is going to be after I'll hate them. Desert dweller. Because we have a Sino. Side of the wall. I feel like well, she's going to be I after him as the next five star. You a and they'll do like another desert update. Them? I feel like it. <laughs> I didn't expect him to still remember that. We just came from talking with Al Haytham at the... Did he tell you that he suggested that I come work at the academia? What? Dang. I heard that Azar and his cronies fell from power. And Al Haytham told me that now was a good time to find a job in the academia. Nope, you're fine. Only if I wanted to. Whoa. Hyman can't see you being anything other than a mercenary. Ha! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Me neither. Ugh. Ugh. Forget about it. I wouldn't last ten seconds in there. I'll hate them probably just like the way I worked and knew I'm good in a fight. But you, know, you just need a fedora. If you up on the offer, Sino might actually agree and let you become a Matra. Because you're super amazing. Mm. <laughs> the Matra have all the talent they need as long as they have Sino. I prefer to be free to live however I choose. In fact, I chose this job from the very start. Death Note is great. Be right up my alley. Even if being a mercenary means facing all kinds of danger, a lion has to return to the wild. Soon. A lion. She's a lion. Being your bodyguard has been unfamiliar territory for me. I don't want to see you go, but I'm glad to hear you say that. Come on, no need for the sad face. She's like, do you see my like hair? Need again. Once the whole Dendro Archon thing is settled, everything in Sumeru will take a turn for the better. This music is so good. Too. It's just so good. A peaceful society will oh. probably mean less demand for mercenaries. Da -da 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 -da. Like me. Before long, da -da 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 -da. Breed. so I'd better get to work while I still can. Huh? Full metal is great. I'm pretty sure I've had this discussion before. 
Well, no. Not yet, at least. I promised my lady I'd stick around until next week. So, have you been informed Full Metal Brotherhood is also time? great. We were wondering if you had received a letter from Milu. Oh, uh, did Milu write to us? Did she nobody get these letters? Letter so she sent the letter here. Huh. It was probably sent to the inn that we're staying at. My lady has been very energetic lately and keeps taking me on hikes, staying out even into the night. Right. These people and need to get their shit done. Morning, so wow. The old man on duty is also usually dozing off. So what it really sounds like is that the person on duty is always asleep. I bet the letter's at the reception desk. No wonder there wasn't a reply. Uh, sorry to make you two come all the way out. Literally here. made us venture so out like to specifically write to us like that. Yeah, half a day. Half a day. Victory feast in the Grand Bazaar. And we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Great. I'll be sure to attend. Count me in too. Jesus. But is there some sort of dress code or anything for the feast? Nah, bitch, look Message like this. You look you look fantastic. I don't think she'll be too picky about that. All right. Then this is how I'll show up. <laughs> She's like, I have no other clothes. Sure. I would love an alternative so outfit for her. Snow. You'd be so we'll cool. See you there. Oh, oh! By the way, <laughs> do you happen to know where Shino and Raman are? The General Mahamatra always comes and goes without a trace. Oh. Great, great. That's cool. That's great. We've uh, got to track him down. Last time we met, he mentioned that he had something to do in Aru Village. As for Raman, your guess is as good as mine. I only remember he said that he had something to discuss with Sino. Don't mention it. Uh, you better be going. All right, I'm Why do they got to do this to me? Why do they have to make me do all this legwork here? What dicks? Would I ever move to America? No. Why would I ever want to move to America? There's so many better countries. Come on. Come on. I already live in Canada. Why would I move to, like, down the street? <laughs> if I'm going to move, it's going to be, like, somewhere in Asia. I'm not trying to pay 30% more for everything. <laughs> Hi, M loves tea. How are you? Let's go, buddy. It's been a while since we last visited Aru Village. Huh, Has it? Know. Has it really? Hmm. Mm. Hi. What brings you here? Did you get our letter? <laughs> and Tanari agreed to let us leave. So now we're out and about again. It seems Kendarvaville's medical treatment is still as good as ever. I already have two roommates here and in Canada. Sorry. Too. No room for more. That's good to hear. Yeah. You're the one who brought us to him when we lost consciousness, right? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Tiny <gasps> has excellent medical <gasps> skills. But he definitely why does. Is he standing here like a dead tree? What the fuck, Paimon? I'm meeting some people. Oh. You mean Candace? I've already talked with Candace and the village chief. They're still at the usual place. You can go there if you'd like to see them. But you know one of the people I'm meeting as well. Oh, by King Deshret's blessing, my friend suddenly appears in the desert. It's this bro. <laughs> Don't tell me you've run into trouble and need us to help now. Roman! Oh, you know me? I know you, bitch. <laughs> well, I have a house. Uh, you're pretty famous. Academia. Don't worry. These are our friends. No need to be so guarded. I see. <laughs> She's like, well. has no Many recollection. Things have happened recently. Sam here. Really, I feel that my whole life has started to shine after suddenly finding a new direction. Oh, tell us everything. Yeah, you go ahead. All right, well, I suppose I should start by saying I've decided to leave the academia. What? Good. It's not that I've given up on being a scholar. Instead, you could say I've found a new identity. I will no longer pursue research like a typical scholar, but I have not completely given up on my relationship to knowledge either. <laughs> I can see what you're saying now. Uh, what do you mean? I plan to leave the academia and return to teach here in the desert. Wow, so you want to... 
to become a teacher? Sataria will return to support education here and teach people from the desert. She can't teach Cute. everyone on her own, but there are many of us Eremites all over Sumeru. Yes, it's my hope that the Eremites can help me select a group of smart people with the best aptitude for teaching. How much I'll money does it cost to buy a house in Canada? From me, I mean, go educate more people. Five hundred thousand to a million. Of education and the spreading of knowledge. Two million. The people of King Deshret in the areas that I live storms, in. Exile and ignorance. Miss Ataria is Toronto is like to come to one of the most expensive cities in the like world. I think. Shining in the desert night. The stars have always guided caravans. I don't. Thieves, I don't think. You, I don't think it's good to, to buy night. a house here right now. They lead those in the dark out of trouble and back to safety. No, oh, please. Where is all of this coming from? I'm starting to feel a little embarrassed. You deserve very expensive. these compliments. Mercenaries are accustomed to danger, and Sataria's idea will bring much good to. I me. know. I know. At first, lots of I questions. Fear it was destined to fail. Everyone know, as you know, all knowledge is under their surveillance and control. But what I heard at that time has been haunting my heart. Oh. As if there were lightning bolts constantly bombarding my soul. Where Scarmouche? We just left this man to die. And the longer Where is he? Are we inviting him to our party? Sataria, why haven't you gone That home? poor guy. Never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. Have I retired from modeling? These words sparked something in me. I need you to follow my Instagram and my Twitter because I gathered up the courage to approach the Grand Sage. It seems like you don't know what I'm doing with my life. Lord Sino told me that Which is impressive because I post a lot about it online. Lord Sino helped me obtain permission. I shot like 10 Christmas sets this month. What do you mean? What do you mean? Retired from modeling. It's my main job. Lester Lord Kusanali has allocated more resources to support and develop the desert. I've done some business for her. And part of it required the I don't know. Of the uh, no, Fail is here all the time. I'm so confused. And sent them to several groups in the desert, as instructed by Lesser Lord Kusanal. Are you not seeing my posts? Is the algorithm exactly that shitty that it's not Physical showing you anything? I hate it. Social media. I know and Lesser Lord Kusanali. I'm afraid we'd never be able to get our hands on them. Apart from this. The academia is also recruiting scholars that are willing to teach in the I desert. I swear to God, I post a lot. Ale, we must be persistent about this. Does no one see it anymore? Resources to ensure long-term effectiveness. What am I gonna do with my this life? This is the first time I'm in hungry hundreds as of well. years we've had a glimmer of hope. Remember these words. Here I don't want to remember people. anything right I now. People with wisdom like the trees. Oh, look at the stars. The desert dwellers. Enough about us. Are you here to discuss some business? That too? was a long conversation. No, not at all. We're actually here on behalf of Milu. Milu wanted to write to everyone, but she wasn't sure where the letters should be sent, so Ooh. she asked us to come find everyone personally. A celebration feast will be held in two days at the Grand Bazaar. <sighs> she hopes that all of you will be able to attend. At the feast, we'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. Uh, although, yeah. From He's out getting the tires changed, though, on the car. Paimon thought you would only start working for the academia after the feast. Celebration? Feast? Oh, it's man. It's the first I've heard of it. Tainari was right. She really didn't know. <laughs> this feast is for you, Sino. Sounds to me like you'll have to be there. Yeah. It's rare to see that kind of expression from Lord Sino. You must not like feasts very much. You don't like eating, bro? No, not what do you really. Mean? Oh my gosh. Well, I still have a lot to handle here. Out of Besides, control. I need to look after Miss Sataria in the desert, so I'll have to pass. I'm afraid I won't be able to join <gasps> you. Excuse Although, if you'd be so kind, these guys. Please give a message to Miss Milu for me. The message is, I'm sorry for how I treated you before. Yeah, you suck. But now I understand. This the woman sucks. Dance. It's like a light shining in the sky. You and the art you symbolize are not only beautiful, but also lively and powerful. So much so that it was prohibited. Please keep <laughs> dancing. And someday, 
I'll be able to appreciate your art in person. Okay, we've got all that down. Our job here is complete as well. Oh, Let's go. Got it. Let's go to the party. Are we good? Okay. Two days later. I know, I know. My guy. That was loud. Wee. What do you mean you don't like to eat? I, I don't know what JR is bringing me um, actually like home for food. I know he's getting food out. So I'm not, but I'm just not, not sure. Nineteen hundred. Should be good. Today's the big day. Let's go to the Grand Bazaar. Sorry, cut you off, Paimon. To the Grand Bazaar. Oh. Just stealing some books and some swords. Next on the agenda. All right. I think is this this has to be the end of three point two, right? This whole little moment here. decided to show up. I'm sorry. You oh my god. I like came here immediately after finishing up some work. I'm very happy to see you here. Like, we're not late, are we? It's just that everyone else arrived ahead of time. I propose that yes. the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. Wait, what? Nah, there won't be any speeches today. Oh, really? Well, even better. Come join us over here. Let's share some great food and drinks and chat about all sorts of fun things. Everything looks quite good. Wow. <laughs> this guy. Uh, everything looks all right. Look it looks fine. It looks okay. Cute. Where's Skarmush? Like, I'm just so sad that we just literally left this bro for dead. Like, it just no, just no, no talk oh, about him. It's so delicious. This grilled meat tastes amazing! Poor guy. The food was specially prepared for you by everyone in the Grand Bazaar. He's just... No and one cares. And we have gifts that were sent by the residents of Sumeru City when they heard we were holding a feast. Everyone that came said that you saved Sumeru and wanted me to thank you all on their behalf. Where's our... Uh, where's our Archon? It's nice to be seen as a hero. Did we not... get used to this. Do we not invite our babe? Your bodyguard is also... Oops, sorry. Nice job. You've always been amazing, Via. <laughs> My lady sure has a way with words. I like how everyone Thanks. is like a character and then there's this NPC. <laughs> and I'm happy to meet everyone that participated in the great plan. Don't mention it. Come to think of it, we've really done something impressive together. Where is Pekita though? She we gonna come hang things. out? And luck. Really? Why do I remember everybody thinking that luck was against us and feeling like we hardly had a chance of succeeding? That's how I remember it, too. <laughs> it's luck that brought us together. And oh. it was luck that let us form a team. Then, it took even more luck for us to formulate a plan and implement it successfully. So much luck. Moreover, judging from the results, everything worked out well. I want to know what's yeah. with this guy's headphones. Everyone gave it their all when it mattered most. It was almost like a performance. We took the stage and put on our best show. Everyone played their part. And thanks to everyone's efforts, the performance was a great success. So, would you say we're good actors too? Yes. 
It's such a blessing that Lesser Lord Kusanali was able to return to power at the Academia. Where is she? Where's yes. my babe? Even after being abandoned and neglected so many times, she's finally returned. Uh-huh. Lesser Lord Kusanali once seized all her power in a great disaster, which resulted in her losing all her wisdom and memories of the past. The Academia basically abandoned her because of it. This should be something everybody should remember. Huh? You look surprised. I didn't say anything wrong, did I? No, everything you said is correct. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, they know something it differently. Wrong? Yeah, what's with that face? You knew all of this already. <clears throat> Even if those two giants of the academia are here, I still have to say it. Those sages really have some nerve. 500 years ago, Lesser Lord Kusanali used all her power for the people of Sumeru. And what did they do in return? Mm-hmm, cause she's gone. If you bite the hand that feeds you, don't act surprised when it turns into a knuckle sandwich, right, Sino? Perhaps I shouldn't say this, <laughs> but their treatment of Lesser Lord Kusanali calls for a more severe punishment. Shouldn't it just be you Lord Kusanali now? Lord because, Kusanali like, you don't want to say lesser to because there was a greater as well. So punished. I feel like it just should be Lord Kusanali. And won't interfere in any way. While we're on this topic, why didn't you accept the Academia's invitation to become the Grand Sage? Are you trying to say that I'm fit to be a sage? <laughs> Not at all. He's like, no. But every person handling this election process has said that you are the most suitable candidate to lead the academia right now. Why? Because he dethroned his <laughs> power? Everyone's <laughs> like, bro, you don't got you nothing. Put it in another way? L O L. It's a good thing. Oh. You're making it sound like I overthrew a czar for my own personal gain. But seriously, though, I always wondered if you had some personal motives behind it. I did have my own motive. But it had nothing to do with being a sage. <laughs> you don't want to be a sage, if bro? If the rules of our nation were suddenly cast by the wayside, then it wouldn't be long until chaos ensued. Oh, that's funny. I had no intention of letting their dreams disrupt my life. By that, you mean your life working as the Academia's scribe. Precisely. Uh, wait, is that all? So that's the only reason why you joined us and came up with all those plans? It's reason enough. You've certainly got quite the personality. You flatter. Everyone keeps telling him that. All right then. How about you? You've already resumed work as the General Mahamatra, right? That's right. Will you be happy with that life? It's not about being happy. Dang, Nilo asking there are the tough questions. A lot of things that I must do. Even so, keep your spirits up and try to be happy, okay? And try to smile more every day, just like I'm doing now. <sighs> Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. This group of people is a lot. There's a lot going on here. Oh my god. I seldom participate in such lively gatherings. No. This gathering today has a unique meaning. The Grand Bazaar is like that. So funny. It's an emotion that'll be forever alien to those bookworms. Who oh, <laughs> bookworms. <laughs> oh well. This guy's a mess. My lady, the grilled meat over there is delicious. Yes, I also tried some fruit just now. Oh, they're very sweet. What an amazing place to relax. You said it. Oh, look who else is here. Hi. Oh, oh I'm so happy Nilu invited everybody. Hey, less of that polite chit chat, more eating and drinking. She's such a drinker, huh? Oh, my goodness. The atmosphere here is good. And everything is delicious. I don't often come to such places. I have a lot to handle these days. <laughs> I know you do. <sighs> ah, there you are, traveler. Well, how is it? It's great. That's good. It's the first time I've ever invited so many exceptional people to one place. You see, every guest We're just missing a uh... extraordinary our our bestie Nahida we've got everyone to gather here and Make concussion sure man Scaramouche. I'm honored to have her think of me this way I can't explain why 
but you're elated. Oh. All right. A am I sleeping? Your head is starting to droop. Uh oh. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. I'm gonna go find something delicious for you to eat. Oh no. Once you put something yummy in your tummy. Need some okay. sugar. Just wait here for Paimon. I'm just not doing so great. I'm not doing so hot. It's been a lot for me. Oh. Oh my god. What? Well, this is... Okay. What's happening? Guys? <laughs> it's oh. Oh! I'm so hungry. My stomach is rumbling. Aw, is she trying to, like, I was thinking about hang out through me? And the next thing I knew, I had made a connection with you. The connection between us is amazing. It's like Flora and the fence it grows upon. I heard there's an amazing celebration feast today at the Grand Bazaar. Come hang out! I wanted to have a look for myself, so I snuck in. Lately, I've been so busy dealing with all the fallout from recent events, so I really haven't had any free time. Although you've already helped me with a lot, there's still one more thing I hope you can help me with. Please say thank you to everyone for me. Aww. Oh, is it not convenient for you to do that for me? You gotta do it yourself, girl. If I just show up all of a sudden, people will become all quiet and Please! Sick, okay? Come on! Come hang out! Oh my god. And ruining this wonderful feast. Oh my goodness. That'd be the last thing I want. Please get your booty over here. Let me think about it. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh. Oh no. You said I should go thank everyone as myself, right? So... I've decided to borrow your body for the time being. Please don't blame me. The floor also climbs up to the fence to get closer to the sky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Everyone. Are you awake now? Paimon was just about to bring you the food. It's me. Huh? That voice. Nahida? Uh, hold up. What's going on? I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali in the Grand Bazaar. Interesting. Aww. Is this also a part of the feast? No, no, of course not. Are you... Lesser Lord Kusanali? It should just be Lord Kusanali oh. now. There is no greater. Do you know who I am? Yes. I already know every one of you. Milu, I'll hate them. Sino, Dia, Paimon, and Dunyarzad. Lesser Lord Kusanali? She's gonna have a breakdown. <laughs> I took the liberty of occupying the traveler's body so that I could thank all of you in person. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Aww. Even if that meant placing your own safety in peril and taking the risk of becoming enemies with the Academia, the Sages, the Doctor, the Balladeer, and even the entirety of Sumeru. Without you, without any of you, I would have been in a much more difficult situation had you not helped me to resolve the crisis. So cute. Not only I, but Sumeru and even the entirety of Tevat would have suffered great misfortune. People refer to you as the heroes who managed to rescue a god. I'm quite fond of this name. <laughs> it not only explains your identities, but also bears witness to your relationship with me. Please, allow me to present to you my most sincere gratitude. Lesser Lord Kusanelli, you... She's like gonna have a so mental breakdown. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> a chance to do anything for you. You don't have to do this. Do, do what? 
Do what? She said thank you. you endure during your illness is also proof of you being with me and praying for me. Thank you. You don't need to be so ceremonious. It's always been my duty to protect you. This is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the right path. You're an Archon, but you act so humble. You really don't need to be so polite with us. I... JR is I still at the, um, plan. car I hope place. You like the dance I dedicated to you. Apparently the alignment is off. All of you. Thank you so much. Sabotaging it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's so cute. <sighs> I'm so glad we're almost caught up. Now we just have like all of the all of the new stuff, right? Creepy. Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Huh? You mean about your brother? Oh! While you were resting at Gandarbaville, I took some time to perform an ermine soul search for information on your brother. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Isn't ermine soul a repository for all the information and memories of Tuvash? So there shouldn't be anything on her or her brother. This is true in your case. Ermin Sol indeed does not have any information on you. Oh! However, there must be something different about your brother. Because, what? as it turns out, the world has recorded information on him after all. What? There's only one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. But nothing about this makes any sense. Wasn't this your first trip to Tevat? Hmm. According to the records I was able to access, your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. Mm -hmm. After the Conria disaster, he began his journey through the seven nations of Tevat. But just as his journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermansol records on him suddenly become fuzzy. What do you mean, Fuzzy? Did something happen to him? All I know for sure is the that abyss. somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating his fate. And whoever it is, if they can do that, who knows what else they're capable of? I'm but so confused. Even that would but explain how awesome. Even somehow comes from this world. Something else I noticed was that, according to these records. The Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the Descenders. What's a Descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Look, I'm sure you must be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for my Gnosis, right? A very important part of the intel was about this world's Descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Traveler, you are Tevat's fourth Descender. Huh? What? Do we count three other descenders before the traveler, and her brother isn't even one of them? That's right. 
My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. <sighs> You're one too, weirdo. And yet, even knowing all this, I'm so I'm confused. Sure I still have a lot of unanswered questions. <sighs> I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the God of Wisdom. There are many questions in my heart as well. I will need some time to go through each one of them. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew and depart from Samaru. I'm very interested in your future. Where are we going next, Fontaine, right? Be observed or recorded by this world. If fate Interesting. Is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. The ultimate death. I'm sure glad we got to oh my gosh. You, Nikita. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. All right, that's enough talk for today. If you ever miss me, just close your eyes, and maybe I'll appear in your dreams. Cute. Is that it? Oh! Oh my goodness. You must have a whole bunch of questions after our last conversation with Nahida. I'm always ready to ask her a million more questions, but I didn't want to seem too pushy. Like, about these descenders. So, does that just mean people like you who come traveling to Tevat from someplace else? And as for your brother... Whew, so many questions. Let's go find Nahida and see what else we can find out. Jeez, alright, we did it. We... Okay, that is 3.2. So now, we are at 3.3. We are, ooh, poor guy. Poor Scaramouche was just left at the whole end of that. This music is so creepy, by the way. Oh my goodness. Finally. Oh. That was long. That was a lot. 